Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to another episode of The Sims, busting out for Game Boy Advance. Have a hug, Detective Danderman. Just getting my relationship up with him, still in the burning spoke here. And there we go, 100. Awesome, so that went up from like 40, 50, which is great. Hey, Dusty Hog, what's my relationship with you? Like 50. Um, okay. Um, soon I'll control the world. So yeah, it, I don't think it's going to be easy to put our relationship up with him. But Vera Vex, definitely um, probably one we can do. Um, we, um, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly work on that, and I'll be back with you guys in a little bit. And back on the toilet here, got my relationship up with Vera to like 60. I also tickled her, and now she's in love with me, and I'm a little bit concerned that her and Nora are going to fight for me. It's worrying, guys. Anyway, let's head on over to Virtue Cam again, because it's midnight now. It's midnight in Parliament Square. No, you, you guys probably don't know that. That's a Bill Bailey sketch. It's funny as heck. Um, uh, Bill Bailey is awesome. I've actually met him once. He takes his... Mm, I think son, nephew, cousins... I don't know. Um, to the EGX... Um, What's it called? Uh, Expo. Uh, in Well, when it was here, it was in London, but it's now in Birmingham, which kind of stinks. Uh, so yeah, me and my friend Sam actually was just like, wait, is that Bill Bailey? It's Bill Bailey. And we met him, we went and talked to him. He's like, yeah, no, I'm just here for my son. It's pretty cool. Um, so, or whoever it was, I forget. This was quite a while ago. Also, as you can see in this level of, um, uh, what's it called? I forget what this game's called. Uh, Petri Dish. You can see all the little guys are much, much more spread out. We've also got a new green color as well, uh, which stinks because it's really difficult to get them all out. I wonder, oh no, if I'm to get all the green ones out, then I need to move these guys down. Oh, oh, here we go. All the green, oh no, it's not all the green guys now because they've changed some. Stupid mutagen. I think that's it, actually. Can we not go any further? No. Well, that's absolutely stunk. Anyway, let's, let's show you guys the... Uh, the potion here. So you literally pick a potion and it just randomly picks a stat and puts it up. The potion isn't that expensive actually and like you don't need any of these mice, you don't need any of the fuel rods, not in this game anyway. Uh, you don't need the gear and you don't need the jar either. I wish there was a quicker way of selecting all of them, but oh well. So you, get, you can get quite a bit of money from that, especially the three-eared mice. Okay, and then just like, literally just buy a load of potions and wait until it puts up the exact same stat as it literally just put up. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, so we're not really doing anything good here. Um, if I need a lot of money, I could probably go to Uncle Hayseed um, and mow his lawn for him. But instead, I'm going to go to Uncle Hayseed and I'm going to eat his food and sleep on his bed. So I will be back with you guys once I have done that. So here we are, guys, trying to put my relationship back up. Uh, well, not back up, but just up. Um, with Lottie Cash here, I feel like... Um, this is, could be a good one to get us up to 50. Um, I think she likes me talking about myself. She likes jokes. Uh, she doesn't like me talking about her, that's for sure. Um, I think you should go by a small island and live there. That was a bad one. Private tennis club, okay. You truly are a beautiful person. She's not, she doesn't really care about compliments that much. I think it's time to pay that friendship fee. She really doesn't like that. I'm so cool. I keep soda cold. So yeah, she's... She likes me talking about myself, which is a bit weird. Start my own video game company. Um, it doesn't cost a thing to be alive. I'll be leaving this town soon. So yeah, um, I am going to try and put my relationship up with her. Okay, so yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so got her up to 62 before I had to peep. Peep? Pee, not peep. Okay, so let's head on back to Uncle Hasey's house and put my needs up a little bit. Oh, how well did that do? 46. I only went up by 2. That kind of stinks. I thought it would do more than that. Uh, but we are getting there, guys. We are slowly getting there. Like I said, talking to people and putting your relationship up with them is one of the most time-consuming and tedious parts about this game, especially when you need like a relationship or a popularity even of 60. Like, hush. I think that just basically means you have an average relationship of 60 with everyone in town. And yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the butt, not gonna lie. Uh, so let's quickly pee here as well. 
And it's getting close to Petri dish time again. And I will see if I can find Lottie Cash. If not, I will probably go to Burning Spoke. Talk to a bunch of people in there. It's kind of easy, like, Burning Spoke or... Actually, I'm going to need to wait for uh, the hour to end. Burning Spoke or Club Rub during the night. Definitely the two easiest places to find people. Please let Lottie still be here. She is not. Okay, so let's... Oh, 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 it's Eddie Renalyn. You know what? I think I could probably put my relationship up with him more. So let's give it a go. Alright, so basically Eddie Renalyn likes uh, jokes. He likes compliments. He likes optimism as well, which is interesting because optimism is fun. Uh, <laughs> there was one as well. What was it? Something like uh, Only the Strong Survive, which would, like... Every time I said it would put my relationship up with him by like five points. So that's fantastic. Anyway, here we are, Virtue Chem again. Oh, can I actually talk to Hester Prim a bit more? I bet you're ticklish. Um call the birdhouse using whatever. Truly our beautiful lady, and I bet you're ticklish. There we go. 100. Boom. Easy peasy. <laughs> so yeah, maintaining relationships are also like equally as important. So I think I'm gonna try a little bit differently this time. I'm gonna try and like line up some big big like groups of colors uh, like the yellows there they're pretty big like we're already made more money than we did in the last one which is fantastic I also think every time you remove a column you get a big like cash bonus which is great haven't seen any mutagens yet which is fantastic uh, let's try and get rid of that there's the mutagens okay let's get rid of the blue one here to get some reds clumped up like that I think that will be pretty good for us um Oh boy, let's get rid of the blue, uh, green ones here so we can get rid of the blues. Probably got rid of those green ones instead. I wonder, if we get rid of those, it didn't put us up by hardly anything. Okay, so my idea of removing a column does not work. <laughs> let's get rid of the, those ones there. Oh boy, this is really tough to actually get a decent score in. I don't think we're going to get the score to uh, get a promotion. Uh, because I'm pretty sure that's... Mm, please don't change it. Ah, dang it. And right near the end as well, they seem to be changing like every single time. That was bad. That was really bad. Oh well. Okay, let's see. It is 7am. What are our needs like? Should probably put them up this time before trying to talk to people. Because I think that's where I was going wrong. I started to talk to people like as soon as I got out of Petri Dish. And that wasn't really working out for me. Um, so I'm going to put my needs up first. And then look for people to put my relationship up with. I know that Mad Woody hurts you, he's really difficult to talk to, basically because he's always in the boxing ring. Uh, so, if I could find him out of the boxing ring, probably Burning Spoke at night time actually, uh, we could potentially put our relationship up with him pretty easily. Uh, we will see. But, same old routine, going back to Uncle's house, putting up my needs, and then going to get out there and talk to more people. Maybe Lottie Cash, I don't know if it's actually worth talking to Lottie Cash again since our relationship with her is pretty high now. And I'm surprised that my social uh, need is that low when all I'm doing is talking to people and then playing Petri Dish. Like, my goodness, okay. But hey, a full need bar thingy helps to, uh, to uh, get more relationship with people. I'm actually going to try going to Nikki Nack's Brick a Brack, unless Lottie Cash is here, which she is. Okay, I'm going to talk to Lottie Cash, never mind. Whoops, bad idea. Okay, and that is 100 with a lot of cash. Go complete. <gasps> Wait, no, did we do it? Did we do it? Did we get our popularity up to 50? Yes, we did. What goal do I need to do? Because I need to do that quickly. Hire a sculptor. I need to be at my house to do that. Oh, now I've got to go all the way back to the mansion. My big, lonely mansion with only a dog that keeps... Oops, I missed. <laughs> I was trying to start my timer up again. With only a dog that keeps peeing on the floor to keep me company. And I bet you anything that by the time I've gotten there, then my popularity would have gone back down. Also, I haven't paid my bills for a while. Whoopsie. Let's pay them real quick. That's kind of important to have money to do that. Oh my goodness. This dog. <laughs> this dog, why? Services. Sculptor. Okay, you got the cans on the popularity? I'll get right to work. Mission complete. Talk to Detective Dan the Man. Awesome. Also, we no longer need a uh, burglar alarm now that Giuseppe is in jail. Behind bars! Alright, so actually, Detective Dan the Man, we drove past him. He was outside of the general store here. Hopefully he's still there. Dang it, maybe he's inside the general store. Please be inside the general store. 
He is awesome. Have you seen the new statue? Indeed I have, Dale. And if it wasn't such an amazing work of craftsmanship, I would tear it down in an instant. Who do you think you are allowing a statue of yourself to dominate the skyline of this humble city? You've got a lot of nerve. Um, no one has to notice me. But I said it was the sculptor's idea. He said I had presence. I don't care whose idea it was. It was an act of hubris and vanity and, wow, what an amazing artistic accomplishment. Um, okay, so he didn't like that. But... Hey, he's still gonna like me. There we go. Awesome. Uh, so that mission is complete. And we've just annoyed the uh, police officer of the town. But let's go look at our new beautiful statue of us. Of us. It's all, all me. <laughs> okay, so it's actually by the clock tower here in the middle of the fountain. And yeah. <laughs> it's exactly me. And yeah, it's sure, it's ruining the skyline because I'm pretty sure you can see that right next to this humongous clock tower. Dingbat. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look in the gym, because that's actually around about 3 p.m. There's usually quite a lot of people in the gym. I, I guess to watch the weightlifting? I, I don't know. Um, there's no one here. I lied. Okay. But hey, it's about to switch over to the next hour. Um, so I guess we could go look for someone. I, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go find Nicky Nag. And go to her bric a brac shop. Because I'm pretty sure I could probably get my relationship up with her. And at least end today's episode on like a popularity of 55. Because as soon as I get 60, stuff is going down. Okay, so let's go over to her bric-a-brac store. Actually, is anyone in the pet store? No. I don't want my dog anymore, sir. You can get lizards. Lizards are pretty cool. Um, oh, over this way. There we go. Anyone on the roads here? No. This area of town is pretty quiet, so... Doesn't matter. Nicky Nack in here? Yes, yeah, she is. Okay, let's talk to her. Okay. Okay, so I managed to get her all the way up to 68 before I needed to pee. She is really easy to get her like her relationship up with. It's literally, there are like three things which you just can't say to her, otherwise she'll be annoyed. Other than that, like, oh my goodness. She's an easy one, guys. She's an easy one. And there was one something like um, about oh this town loves you so much or do do you know how much this town loves you, and she would just go up by like again five points. It's it's pretty insane. I, I'm pretty sure like everyone has this one like trigger phrase triggered um, that will put their relationship up by five every time. And I think that's the maximum. A lot of cash. Get out of my house. You are not invited into my mansion. Uh, so yeah, once again, gonna put my needs up. And uh, I think we've got like one good more run at a Petri dish before we end today's episode because I'm going to have to sleep before the episode ends. That will probably put it up to midnight. So I will see you over at Virtue Chem Labs. Okay, here we are again. Oh, wow. Our relationship with Daddy Big Bucks went down really quickly. Uh, let's quickly try and put it up again. Okay. Did you hear a joke? Oh, he doesn't like jokes. I forgot. Is he ticklish? Oh, he is. Um, yeah, let's quickly try this, because we got a bit of time. He likes compliments, he really likes compliments. And apologies. <laughs> and, um, rumors. More rumors. More rumors. Um, my maid has never said a word to me, no one cares about that. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, word escape, words escape me. Uh, apologies. Uh, you're such a handsome devil. Carol Salty used to call himself Old Sugary. I go, um, there we go. Oh, he doesn't like smelling the roses. Complaints? No, he doesn't like complaints. Um, you know what? That'll do. We got him up to 96. Close enough. Let's do Petri Dish one more time. Let's just aim for these big globs and just take those out, because I feel like those are going to be worth all the money. 300 straight away. That's pretty much more than our last score. Okay, so it looks like it starts happening once you take away like a certain percent of the uh, the am amoebas, amiibos. I can't believe I called them amiibos. But hey, look, we got 600, which I'm pretty sure puts us past the um, qualification for the next rank, or whatever it's called. I was going to say qualification for the next rank. Sounds good to me. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the green ones on top. Awesome, so at least we're going to level this up. At least we did something decent today. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. We did good work today. I mean, we're now level 4, Dr. Amoba, which is great. We only need to go up one more level for that. And hey, we're also talking to people. 
you know what? Between episodes, I'm going to put my relationship up with Vernon Peeve here, or at least try to uh, go as far as I can. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do here. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys, and look at that face. We're ending on that face. Yeah.